Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on a research paper, which is QLora. And basically, it's an efficient, fine-tuning, quantized research paper that has been working to efficiently and effectively reduce the memory usage during the fine-tuning process. Now, what's amazing and why I'm covering this project is because of Guanaco 65 billion model. This is something that they've been actually able to utilize with the process of QLora. Now, for the people who do not know, QLora basically stands for Quantized Low Rank Adapters. And it's basically an approach for efficient fine tuning of quantified as well as quantized language models. Now, the researchers behind this project have been able to work with Guanaco, which is another type of model. And what they've done is that they work to reduce the memory usage during the fine tuning process while still remaining high in terms of keeping up the high performance standards. And what they've actually able to accomplish is that it they've with the QLora framework, they've been able to basically fine tune Guanaco so that it reaches an impressive 99.3% comparison level in terms of its comparison towards chat GPT, which is quite astonishing. And basically they've been able to do this while still maintaining high performance and by employing QLora, they have successfully fine tuned a massive 65 billion parameter model on a single 48 gigabyte GPU. And this is all by preserving a full 16 bit fine tuning task performance. And this is why this paper is so remarkable. And this is why we're going to be covering this in today's video. We've also seen cases where people on Twitter have been able to actually fine tune their own 33 billion parameter LM on Google Colab in just a few hours, which is quite remarkable. And this is all because of QLora. They've been able to use the same framework as well as the code that is used to efficiently fine tune different types of quantified or quantized, sorry, LLMs. And the code will be linked in the description below, as well as all the links that we're going to be checking out in today's video. So before we actually get into the gist of today's video, guys, it means the whole world to me if you guys can go give the world of AI on Twitter a follow. I'm going to be posting the latest AI news as well as the latest content over here so that you can get the latest AI news right to you on the Twitter feed. And guys, it would mean the whole world to me if you can go please subscribe to this channel. If you guys haven't already, turn on the notification bell, like this video. And with that thought, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, definitely do so because there's a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So with that thought, guys, I'll see you guys right into the video. So guys, the key concept behind QLora is to back propagate gradients through a frozen 4-bit quantized pre-trained language model into a low rank adapter. And this is what helps it reduce its memory usage. And this enables the efficient computation and memory utilization during the fine tuning process of different LMs. Now by leveraging a low rank fractionization technique, QLora has been able to reduce the parameter count of the adapter's layers as what they've been actually added towards the pre-trained model without sacrificing any of the performances during the fine tuning process. Now what they've done with the Guanco model is that it represents the best fine tuning processing results comparison to ChatGPT based off of the QLora approach that they've integrated. And these models have been able to achieve remarkable results on different types of LM models such as like Vicuna as well as Llama. And with Guanaco basically, they've been actually able to reach an impressive 99.3% performance level in comparison to ChatGPT, which we talked about at the start. And for the people who do not know, this is quite impressive as not a lot of other types of fine tuning models have reached such levels in comparison to ChatGPT. And what's amazing is also that it only required 24 hours on a single GPU to do this. So they've been actually able to fine tune this model only within a 24 hour scope. And they've been able to do this efficiently in terms of its approach. They didn't require tens of millions of dollars like GPT-4 as well as GPT-3.5 had done in terms of fine tuning its model. 
in this case it only required one single gpu to do this whole process which makes it so much better in terms of its efficiency in fine tuning different types of lms now let's actually take a look at this table over here now table one presents elo ratings for the competition between the different models with the result averaged over 10k random initial orderings now in this competition the models were evaluated based on the performance in response to generation for the vicuna benchmark now the winner of each match is determined by gpt4 which determines which response is better for a given prompt now we can see there's different types of models such as Bard, Guanaco, ChatGPT, Vicuna 13B, as well as GPT-4. It also states the size as well as the ELO ratings. Now, for the people who do not know, the ELO rating indicates the relative strength of each model compared to the others. Now, a higher ELO rating basically suggests that there's a better performance level. Now, the table also indicates a 95% confidence interval, and this is a provided range for uncertainty around the actual ranges of the ELOs. Now, according to this table, we can see that after chat GPT-4, which uh, the best second best model is the Guanaco 33 billion parameter, as well as the 65 billion parameter. And those two are the models that won the most matches in comparison with the chat GPT-4. And it indicates that their strong performance compared to the other, other models are so much more superior in terms of its elo rating and this is quite remarkable guys because because of the fine tuning process that qlora has been able to implement within these models and it's basically able to surpass different things such as bard which is being backed by an amazing company as well as chat gpt it has reached a higher score than these two models which is quite remarkable and basically these ratings provide quantitative assessment of the model's performance in this competition which showcases you the comparison as well as the insights just like basically spotlight the strengths that puts these models ahead in comparison with each other now in this figure it illustrates different fine-tuning methods that compares their memory requirements as well as working towards the comparison that demonstrates the improvements of the different models. Now the first technique is quantizing and this is basically where the transformer model is being utilized to the 4-bit precision model and the quantization is a process where you're reducing the precision of a numerical value in the model and basically it helps reduce the memory usage. Now by using a 4-bit precision model QLora can achieve a significant reduction in memory requirements compared to LoRa, which is the previous model that they've actually worked upon, and it utilizes the 16-bit for transformer. Now, the second technique involves the use of a paged optimizer to handle memory spikes. Now, during the fine-tuning process, certain operations or calculations can basically cause temporary spikes in memory usage. With paged optimizers, you're able to get a designed designer to basically handle such spikes efficiently by dividing the memory into smaller pages or chunks in a way, which you can see over here. And it basically allows for a more efficient memory management. Now, by implementing paged optimizers, QLora basically further optimizes the memory usage, which contributes to its improved performance compared to LoRa. Now, overall, we're able to see how this visual demonstrates how QLora outperforms LoRa in terms of its memory requirements by leveraging the 4-bit transformer and it also utilizes the paged optimizers which helps it become more of a better requirement in saving memory. To perform fine-tuning with QLora, you gotta follow through with a six-step process. Firstly, you have to select a pre-trained language model, and this is by beginning to select a pre-trained language model such as GPT-3, which has been trained on a large corpus of text data. Obviously, you can select other models at your own choice. And secondly, you move on to the next process, which is quantization, quantization, sorry. And this is where you apply a 4-bit normal flow quantization to the pre-trained language model. And this step, as well as this technique, helps reducing the precision of numerical values in the model, which basically ensures high fidelity. 
And basically, this is going to help you significantly reduce memory usage during the fine tuning process. The third step is adding the different types of adapter layers. You add these layers to the pre-trained model. And with these layers, there are small modules that are inserted into the model's architecture, which allows for a task specific fine tuning while basically lowering the impact on the original parameters. And these will basically use, be used for specific tasks where you want to fine tune the model for. Fourthly, you will double down on the quantization process by applying a double quantization to the adapter layers. And it basically is involving a step which is taking an additional quantization step to specifically be designed for the adapter layers. And it further basically makes the fine tuning process more memory efficient. On the fifth step, you are working with page optimizers. And in this step, you're employing page optimizers to handle memory spikes during the gradient checkpoint. And what this does is that it divides the memory into smaller pages or chunks, which allows for a more efficient memory management, preventing a lot of out of memory errors during the fine tuning process. In the sixth step, you're working with the fine tuning process, where you're using the fine tune language model for your own specific task. Now the fine tune model is then provided with a task specific data as well as updating the adapter layers to learn task specific patterns from the previous inputs that you give it. In a way, you're basically feeding it previous knowledge to make it more smarter. And this is what makes QLaura's approach of making an efficient model so much better in terms of its fine tuning process. Now let's get to the next step where we can actually start fine tuning our own model. It, I forgot to pronounce this name properly, but it, Itamar has been able to like create this Google Colab link in which you can actually fine tune your own model. Now, if you want the Colab for different types of purposes, all the links will be in the description below and I'll leave the tweet for this exact page right in the description below. But in this case, you can actually spend a couple of hours to fine tune your own language model. First things first, you need to connect the GPU to this Google Colab. Secondly, you need to go on to your runtime. What you want to do is change it to the GPU so that you're utilizing the GPU hardware. And lastly, what you want to do is save a copy in your drive so that you're utilizing it in your own drive space. And what you can now do is start working towards installing the requirements. And as you go slowly down, you can start looking through inputting the models as well as what you're trying to fine tune as you go down in the inputs. And this is basically easy as that guys, you just got to click through these certain buttons, these play prompts to help you start installing the actual fine tuning process with the code of QLaura on the Google Colab so you can start working towards fine tuning your own model. I'm not going to be showing you guys how you can actually fine tune your own model because that is going to require a lot of hours to do so. But in this case, we're just going to show you a little comparison of how Guanaco 65 million parameter model has been able to achieve such an amazing level of its performance in comparison to ChatGPT 5 or sorry 4. And basically this is by going through a Google Colab that was created by one user on Twitter. And basically he created this to tell if you can differentiate ChatGPT towards versus Guanaco 65 billion parameter model. And you can actually do so by different questionnaires as well as different prompts. Basically he's been able to compare these two models by giving the same prompt to each other as you go down. You can see that there's two types of questions as well as two types of generative answer and over here we're able to see that it's able to get the same relative type of an like relative type of answer when you're able to give an input towards the both types of models and this is one of the quite remarkable things of what you can do with q laura guys in summary it's an amazing tool that you could be utilized for fine tuning different types of models quite efficiently without using a high memory usage rate and with that thought guys i hope you got some sort of value out of this video i hope that this will be an easier step for you to fine tune your own models so that you don't have to utilize a lot of resources for your as well as the computation power to actually fine tune your own model 
So with that thought, guys, make sure you give this Twitter account a follow if you guys haven't already. Definitely subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notification bell. Like this video. Comment anything you want to see in future uploads. And if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it'd mean the whole world to me, guys, if you guys can do so. And with that thought, I'll see you guys next time.